speaking to a friend of mine in China who gives me a lot of inside information. He says <clears throat> yep. right now, he said this to me about three days ago. <laughs> quick, quick touch point on 43 scale from your experience. Mm -hmm. 43 mm -hmm. scale doesn't seem like a very popular scale here in the state. In Why Europe, do you think that is? Like I can't I get know, people you know, to bite. I can't get people as to an American, food. you know, to answer that as an American, it depends on where you are. I think that we as Americans see smaller things as toys and uh, 43rd scale cars, they aren't, they aren't cheap. And the companies that used to sell them, like Eric Wader and Associates, those companies have kind of like gone away. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll let me go back to this. Living in Michigan, working in the auto industry, there's this awesome store called AutoZone on Woodward. It's now, I believe, it's called Pestiners. They always have plethora of 143rd scale cars there and they had the most beautiful displays and while I was in college I would go there once in a while to buy magazines and, and some model cars and I just really got into it. The scale was so, how do you say, it was it was larger than 164 scale but highly detailed and exactly. yep. you know and I think at that time they were about 30 bucks each, 20, 25, 30 bucks each. I think that um, outside of places <laughs> like Michigan and really auto-centric uh, uh, cities, people don't relate those things as collectibles. They just see them as toys and then they see them as expensive toys. And, you know, going back to your question, and, and I think they don't appreciate it. Here in Europe, 164, uh, sorry, 143rd skill, uh, they're very popular because of space, space, uh Ace. you you have room to store these you know they don't have large homes as we have back in the u.s and so um that that's a factor i think also around the world internationally uh you have to look at the scale of things so 164 scale becoming premium has really shot off around the world to a friend of mine in china who gives me a lot of inside information he <clears> says <throat> yeah. right now he said this to me about three days ago. Day 164 scale is really the hottest scale. I knew it was on fire, but he, sure. he confirmed it. He says, really? That's He said, people here in China are buying also premium 164 scale. You see more and more of it coming. Yeah. 18 scales pop. It's almost like uh, 164 scale is uh, taking over and replacing 143rd. It's either 164 or 118 scale and kind of like everything in between is kind of like, yeah, yeah, some, you know. <laughs> sometimes you people, know. well, sometimes the 43 scale can get almost as expensive as an 18. 18 scale too, depending on what brand you go with. You know, brands like Makeup, Ignition. I mean, you're talking yeah. 200 plus for an 18 scale. Yeah, it comes in a nice, neat package and it looks fire. Mark yeah, it depends on what you want. For instance, like Mock, this is uh, actually yeah. uh, the same company pretty much, I believe, as Hobby Japan, Mock yep. uh, Mark yeah, 40. Yeah, they, they'd be selling under the same thing, yep. And you know, it depends. Like that was a Honda Legend Coupe or in America, we call it Acura Legend Coupe, first generation. Oh man. You, you look at, you know, I make an exception on 40 thirds. I don't, I, I try to avoid buying them these days, but a large amount of my collection are actually 143rd. And um, basically I'm really picky. I've decided to limit it to only uh, cars that I really love, cars that are very niche, that haven't been done before, and I don't have in other skills, I'll buy that in 40 30.